Okay, guys, this is Cruz Roy. Uh, just want to do something about the rollback of the DJI Go 4 app. The reason we're doing this is because we're modding this bird and we're trying to change some settings, and the restrictions on the newer ones kind of suck. So everybody's trying to revert or go backwards in time on iTunes, and I don't know, it's easier to use Mac. I'm using a Windows computer. Um, the shout out goes to multi uh, copterpilots.com. Uh, a lot of guys have been working on all kinds of stuff there. Uh, we've been working on the No Limits drone, the ND, LD mod client, and uh, everything's working really well. The problem is people are asking for the DJI Go 4 app to be downgraded. Some people are getting it, some people are not, just like me. So let's get started. I'll see if I can do this as fast as I can. Three items you're going to need iTunes. 12.3.1 64-bit Charles proxy 3.11.7 64-bit this is a 64-bit Windows computer it's Windows 8 some people got 7 I've tried it on 7 I couldn't get it done I tried it on XP I couldn't get it done I'm gonna try it on 8 to see if it goes alright I've already loaded these two softwares here they are the shortcuts also you need the code that's online, just look for it. I want to revert or downgrade or roll back to 4.0.5 because I had the newest version. I think it's 4.1.5 or 4.5.1, and it has a lot of restrictions on it. So write down the number you want. I already did. Let's get started. And also, when you're deleting these off your computer, make sure they're gone. There's software out there and videos how to get rid of iTunes. And you also want to go into your music folder and delete that iTunes folder. All right? But there's a lot of videos on it. Just do it. All right? The first thing I want to do is open up iTunes. Get iTunes going. Don't do anything else yet. Don't touch Charles Proxy yet. Just open up iTunes. Once iTunes seems to be open, plug in your phone or tablet. A lot of people use their phone. I use an iPad Mini 2. Let's plug it in. Windows going to identify it and it should start syncing and opening up my tablet. And if you want to look at my apps Wait a minute, wrong button you want to look at my apps I have nothing in here all right there are apps in the tablet but because it's a clean install it's only going to show the stuff I use this iTunes for to load so what we're looking for is to see that DJI go app right in here all right so let's go back to the store oh first thing left hand top corner go to the iTunes store come down here authorize this computer put in your password very important if you don't authorize this computer to talk to your tablet it says it's already authorized because I already did it if you don't authorize this computer to talk to your tablet or phone it will not work at all if you already did it it probably already is but it will not work it has to be authorized to talk back and forth otherwise it just gives you an error so first things first we'll go into the store and DJI go for app that's what we're looking for. This is what this video is all about. All right. So here it is. Both of them say download because they don't exist on my iTunes. It's the iPad. And this, if it says anything but download, that means look again, get it deleted off your tablet and your cloud. All right. So now that I'm at this window, I want to open up Charles Proxy. So I'm going to open up Charles Proxy. I was trying to work on this for five or six days because this is a 30-day trial and it's gone when you're done. So you got to get this done before it runs out. There's probably a way of getting another one, but without buying. But let's try to do it and get it done. So wait for it to load. Shift it in your screen where you can see it. Let it sit for a little bit, do its thing. All right. Normally it should just come up with this. Now go back to iTunes. The one you want, the phone or the iPad tablet. This is also for the air and all that. 
just click it, the logo, and go to the bigger screen. Here's the big screen. All right, still not doing anything. If you hit download while Charles Proxy is open, it's going to ask for your password again, I guess. Um, it's not going to download anything over here, all right? But it, it grays out. You can't do anything. So now come over to Charles. Mine's P34 by iTunes. Yours P number might be totally different because of your computer, but mine's P34. I'm going to check that off, go into edit request, and I'm going to hit execute, all right? Still not doing anything. P34. And we're going to go to go back to the edit response. I forgot to do that on the XMLT. Make sure you're on that. Hit this again. Go back. Edit request. XMLT. There's the string of numbers. This is the string of numbers. All right. It all went fast, but slow the video down if you have to and watch what I did. Now let's back up. The 82 is the same number on mine, so it's 82, 1, 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 2. All right, that version is 4.0.5. That's what I want to download. All right, so let's hit execute again. I still see nothing happening over here at DJI 4. Just watch on the clicking. Don't be a mouse and click, 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 click. Give it a few seconds. All right, it didn't do anything. Hit the buy iTunes, execute. Okay, now all of a sudden, if you look over here on the right, it's starting to download. It's 177 megabytes. That's the proper size. There is a chart that shows you the size of each one. Uh, when it ends up on the iTunes app, it's going to be a little bit bigger because that's like a 2% compressed file. But while we're sitting here again, let this load all the way to 177.7 megabytes. Don't turn anything off. Don't disconnect your tablet or phone. Make sure everything's charged up. I'm on a laptop. I'm plugged in. I got full battery. Don't let it die. And let it load. And to get back to why we're doing this, um, you have flight restrictions. You have airspace restrictions. You uh, The other day I went out to fly and I only could go 98 feet and 135 or 160 feet out and that's stupid because most trees in New England are a lot higher than that I need at least 120 to 135 feet to get over trees that would have caused my drone to crash so that's one of the things that I say are pretty stupid uh, for all you forum people out there that don't believe in this um, and you're causing a lot of fuss and people getting banned off of forums because of this um, DJI is out to crash your drone, and so you can buy another one. That's total horseshit. All right, that's just me and my opinion. So you just fly safe, fly with common sense, and obey the rules. We all do, but sometimes you just can't get to where you want to go because of something stupid. That's for the rollback and also the firmwares. All right, now it says processing file. It's all downloaded. It says processing. Charles just booted up again and tried doing something else. It's going to say processing here for at least three and a half years, unless you do something. This is grayed out, so you can't hit download. So what we're going to do is go back to Charles, P34, just hit execute again. And we're looking over here. It's still processing. Um, what I want to do is pop over into apps on my phone I still see nothing here I'm gonna come back over here on the Charles and I'm gonna hit execute again it's still not doing nothing execute again it's like this thing's dying of a heart attack and we're trying to bring it back there you go DJI go four all right and like I said, it jumped up. It's 218 megabyte on here. Like I said, it's a light. I'm thinking it's a light uh, compressed file, so the megabytes do change. It went from 170 to 218, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now that you see this here, all right, X out of Charles. Close it down, because if you don't, it's going to screw up stuff. See right now, you can't hit install. Close it out. Goodbye.
all right now it lit up install we'll bring this over here and now click the install button and hit apply now my tablet's still hooked up you can see it's doing the syncing thing up here all right it's syncing with my tablet and if you could see my tablet on the last page it's got a DJI logo and it says loading I mean you can see the process here but on my tablet it's just a logo and it says loading so it is loading at this time and what we'll do in a minute is after it's loaded it'll actually say remove here but you don't want to remove it I'm just saying when that's how you know this is loaded it says remove so we're still waiting my tablet still says loading and now it says installing all right now everything's done on my tablet it's already there it's already synced together right here it says remove that's a good sign if it says remove it's already on your tablet so now what we want to do is go to the three dots click it once not twice like I just did go to apps all right it's going to open up the single window here for the apps right click it to get your info this is also the process you go to to delete the old one okay here you go 4.0.5 all right and if I could show you on the tablet it is there and I finally did it I'm happy I've gone backwards in time I'm hoping this video can help other people uh, maybe if I got time I'll do another video just showing you that the tablets hooked up and what it's doing but you pretty much can see everything on the screen here but get the right iTunes the right child's proxy make sure you have the code number that you need to put in and just follow the video and hopefully it helps you out because all the other videos that everybody else made I got bits and pieces from it and I put it all together and I made my video so this is Cruz Roy hope this helps you out keep the skid side down unless you convert your drone to flipping and I'm Cruz Roy and I'm out of here